Hi, I'm Cathy. I'm a member of St Mary's Church family in Cheadle. I'm married to Roy and I have two lovely teenage girls, Maddie and Evie. During the day, I work as a primary school teacher. Our church vision is to be centred on Christ. But what does that mean to me? Well, being Christ-centred means to be aware of Jesus' loving presence with me all the time. The hope is that in remembering this, his life in me will influence my living. It's the Christmas message, isn't it? Emmanuel, God is with us. Although it's a biblical truth and an absolute fact that Jesus is with me all the time, I sometimes allow this truth to escape me. So, over time, the Lord has shown me that the simple act of praising him centres my heart back on him, even during these really strange times. One of the places that I've seen this in God's word is in the book of Habakkuk. It's a really good example of how God has shown me my need to praise him all the time in order to centre myself on him. Habakkuk the prophet is crying out to the Lord in the midst of a really terrible time for Israel. But the book ends with a prayer of praise. So I'm going to read now from Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 to 19. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Praise is a powerful weapon against fear and doubt. Worshipping God brings me an awareness of Jesus' constant presence with me, enabling me to be more Christ-centred in my thoughts, my words, my actions. One of the main ways I praise and so centre my heart on Jesus is by listening to Christian music. At the beginning of the first lockdown, my favourite band, Rend Collective, released a new album called I Choose to Worship. I really recommend it. But my favourite lyric says of God, you are good when life is not. What a brilliant truth to sing and a fantastic truth to hold on to, especially during this pandemic. God is good even when life is not. In my work as a teacher, being Christ-centred means inviting Jesus into school with me every day. As I drive to work in the morning, I pray for my family and my friends, I pray for myself, and then finally, I pray for school. This allows me to trust Jesus for the small things and the big things. It allows me to trust him to help me make the difference that he would have me make. Throughout the day, I also send silent arrow prayers. Lord, help them. Lord, help me. Lord, please give me the right words. I'm sorry, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He faithfully answers these hastily offered prayers. And so I'm blessed as he helps me share something of himself with others. Then as I drive home from work, reflecting on all that's happened during the day, I listen again to worship music. And this centers my heart back on Jesus. It reminds me that he's worthy of my praise because he's good, even when sometimes life is not. Emmanuel, God is with us. Merry Christmas, everyone.